Clap it up, clap it up, fellas. Good win out there. Look, celebrate this victory because you guys deserved it. Coming back in the second half isn't easy, and you guys show it heart. I love it. But get ready for next week. We're going to have a quick turnaround going up against Oklahoma, and you know they're one of those elite teams in the NCAA, so we're going to have our work cut out. Defense, we're going to need you. That number seven on the other side, he's special, really special. He can do it with his legs. He can do it with his arm. He can do it all. So we're going to have to watch out for him. We know Oklahoma always produces good quarterbacks, and they have a really good offense. But I believe in you guys. We struggle a little bit on D. We'll get better in practice. Now let's get ready for next week versus Oklahoma. We're going to have our work cut out, but we can get it done. I believe in you guys. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Charlotte 49ers Dynasty. We won our first game in this series in an epic fashion, I would say, in the fourth quarter coming back. We definitely, I thought the odds were stacked against us, but we showed that heart and came back and won on the road versus our rival. That's gonna set up the rest of the series and that rivalry is gonna be heated going forward. Now, Oklahoma has a very good offense, but a pretty underrated defense in this game. I mean, they obviously have good starters all around and we are on the road in a rainy environment at that. So let's get this game underway as Oklahoma does start out with the ball. And here is Brown who gets lit up. That is number 32, Jason Gibbons on the stop. And that's going to bring out the freshman red shirt, Spencer Rattler at quarterback number seven. Let's see what he can do. So here is first pass. Here is good protection. Throw to the right side. And that is caught. And that is Marvin Mims for a gain of 13. And they pick up the first down on their first play. This is going to be a very tough environment here in the rainy conditions. Rattler, clean pocket, airing it out deep on first down. And it's picked off. That's the sophomore, Vincent Youngblood. The first turnover comes by way of Charlotte. Who would have thought on the road we come up with a turnover? And that is the young bull on the outside, number four. He's going to be really good in this program going forward. So here's our offense out onto the field early. Here's the first pass. Billy Ray, he's going to find Christopher Dalton, who can't hold on to that one. Incomplete pass. So Terrence Pitt Howard in the backfield. Calvin Joshua is going to be hurt for four weeks. So he will be out with the torn pectoral. And honestly, Terrence Pitt Howard is going to be the guy that's going to tote the rock the most. So now we get it to a third and five this time. Here's Ray throwing to the right side. And it's going to be caught by Mick Lott, who had some issues catching the ball last game. What do you know? He catches one in the rain on his first attempt. First down. So here is Christopher Rose into the game. He gets a carry and gets lit up in the hole, but it's a gain of four yards. He finds the lane now, bring, setting us up for a third and six as Ray throws to the right side. Good catch by Mick Lott. Now, Mick Lott was one of my favorite players coming into this season. I think that he just needs to have some consistency. I think he could be really good. So first and 10 now. Ray moves to the right side. He's going to take it himself, and he does pick up about Six yards. Nice scramble. So now second and four this time. Ray throws left side. It's Riv Johnson who's got it now. And that is about a gain of 10. And it's a first down once again. Great throw by Ray. He's looked good so far throughout this season. Here is a run to the left side. And it's Christopher Rose. And he picks up about a gain of 10 on that one. How about these first downs on this first possession? Handoff this time, counterplay call, Rose. He tries to go to the outside. He didn't follow his blocks that time. And he gets tackled for only a gain of two. So third and four, Ray steps up in the pocket, scrambles himself, and he takes it to the goal line. Touchdown! Billy Ray scores. And we take the seven nothing lead versus Oklahoma. It looks like the ball just barely crossed the plane. And now here comes Spencer Rattler back out onto the field. Turnover on the first possession. Here's another throw, and that is incomplete. How about the defense so far showing up? Coach called for the D to have a big game this time. Here's a throw across the middle. Stogner has it. He breaks the tackle and picks up a big time gain to about the 36. But there's a flag on the play, and it's going to be roughing the passer. So they get helped out on offense 
15 more yards. They'll take it at about the 21. So Rattler now line up in the pistol. This time handoff to Stevenson. Stevenson big time hole and he throws off a man. Lambert touchdown. Ramon Dre Stevenson from 21 yards out takes it himself. And it's a 7-7 game just like that. They're the number 10 team in the country for a reason. This one's going to be tough. Throw on the right side, and that is going to be incomplete. How did Billy Ray miss that one? He, I guess he was just on the wrong page as receiver Riv Johnson. Third and seven this time. Empty. He gets hit on the throw, and it will fall to the ground. And that one will be a punt here for the Charlotte offense. So here comes Spencer Ratley back onto the field. Spencer Rattler back onto the field. Here's a throw to the right side, and it is caught. Charleston Rambo, gain of 17, and now they're across the 50. So Rattler now in the shotgun this time. Clean pocket, throws to the left side, and it's caught by Weiss, throwing off two defenders and tackled from behind. And that is going to be Calvin or Gary Anderson on the stop. And now they're inside the 15. They're going to hand off this time to Stevenson on the first and 10. Breaking a tackle, and he gets in. Oakley couldn't bring him down. Ramondre Stevenson, two early touchdowns. And we stopped him on the first drive. They've answered with two straight scores. Down by seven now. Here is Billy Ray back onto the field trying to scramble, and he does go down just by the shoelaces. Ronnie Perkins gets him. So now it's a second and 12 under center. The pressure's right there. Throw it to the left side, and it's picked off by Davis. And Ray throws his first interception of this game. Jaden Davis is there, and the pressure was right in Billy Ray's face. He was anticipating the open man, Devon Cash, and the defender just makes a better play on the ball. So here is Spencer Rattler this time. He's going to scramble to the right side, and he picks up about a gain of 14 Nice scramble that time by Spencer Rattler, first down. Now they're just about inside of field goal range. Their kicker could probably make it from here. Here's a throw to the right side, and the pressure was there. He just gets rid of that one. Brings it to a third and 12. Rattler now, play action call, or a screen pass called. Here's Stevenson. He does get tackled by Vincent Youngblood, who already has a turnover in this game. They do settle for three. 17-7 game now. Billy Ray throws to the right side, and he's got Riv Johnson who keeps the foot in bounds. Looks like they're going to call that one a catch. So now that gets it to an eventual third and six after losing a couple yards on second down. Throw in, and it should have been picked off. Wow, that was way off the mark by Billy Ray. Not as accurate as last game. Maybe it's the rainy conditions. Five of 11 to start it out. So here is Oklahoma back out on offense. Here's a quick throw to left side and is caught by Stevenson. And Stevenson gets about a gain of nine. Great play design on that one. Can't ex expect anything less by Lincoln Riley. Here's a handoff, Stevenson, another big run to the right side. Gain of 10. And Ramon Dre Stevenson carrying the rock so far. He's up to 44 yards, two touchdowns. Throw to left side, first and 10, and that is gonna be caught. And in coverage that time, it was Jason Gibbons. He gets beat on that one. And now they get it inside about the 20-yard line. So now they get it to a second and five. Rattler throws the right side. And it's caught. Touchdown, Charleston Rambo. He has it in the end zone. And look at that. C.J. Terry just could not get there and make the play. Great touch on that throw. So down 24-7. Here we are trying to run the ball. Terrence Pitt Howard to the outside. He picks up a gain of 23. Good way to start out the next drive. Still got to keep him honest. His second carry of the game goes across the 50. So first and 10, Billy Ray throws, and it's caught by Mick Lott. I said he was such a good route runner, and I love it. You got to use it. His fourth catch of the game, no drops. So first and 10 now inside of field goal range. Play action fake throw to left side. Christopher Rose line up at fullback that time. And he picks up about a gain of nine. Good play call and pl good play design. Putting the running back in the fullback position. Here is Bortles back into the game. He gets the catch now. Look at him falling forward. Almost a touchdown. Blaine Bortles gets to the one. His second catch of the game. So Bortles remains in the game, looking to open up a hole for Pitt Howard, but it's going to be a loss of two. And it looks like Pitt Howard is going to remain in the game here for a second and goal. 
Toss play out to him, and he can't get the block from Bortles. Bortles kind of went inside. Terrence Pitt Howard went outside, and it didn't work. Loss of about eight. Third and goal this time. It's going to be Billy Ray in the shotgun. Play action fake. Move into the right side. He's got space. Tries to cut up field and gets hit hard for a gain of seven. And we will settle for three on that possession. 24-10 game here with about a minute left here as they throw across the middle. Theo Howard has the catch. Gain of seven. Probably going to be looking to get some points before halftime. They're probably thinking a touchdown, not three. So 55 seconds left here. Rattler hands off to Stevenson. Big time hole up the middle. Who cuts to the outside? Getting inside the 15. A touchdown saving tackle by Vincent Youngblood. And now it's about 50 seconds left now. Rattler throws to the left side. He's got Mims who tries to fight forward. And Marvin Mims, Mims picks up a gain of nine. They hurried up to the line here for a second and one. This time Rattler under pressure. He steps up and throws. Give and it's that. picked off. Marlon Lambert on the interception. The, sixth, the second turnover of the half by Rattler. How about the secondary answering the bell this game? Two turnovers in the first half, and that's how this one ends. 24-10 lead for Oklahoma. We are still well within this game. 24-10 game here as we start the second half. I like what I see from the secondary. Hopefully our offense can keep up now. Here is Ray. First play he goes down. Loss of six yards. And we had some time to throw the ball, but nobody was open. Winfrey on the sack. Third and 14. Now they send the pressure. Here's a deep throw to the right side. And he was looking for Rib Johnson. And it's going to be knocked down. And now we will have a three and out already. We're not even at 100 yards passing so far. So here comes Rattler back out onto the field. Good first half by the rest of the offense. He turned the ball over twice, and his first pass incomplete. How about that? So 24-10 game now, third, third and 10. Now at about the 46-yard line, Rattler in the pocket. Look at this clean pocket. He steps up, throws downfield, and it's going to be incomplete. Looking for Rambo again, and he can't find him. Wow, that one should have been six. So here's our offense backing onto the field. Here's Raichu Howard on the end around the jet sweep, and he picks up about a gain of seven yards. Raichu Howard getting involved early on in this series. He's listed fourth on the depth chart. Here is Ray, though, throwing on a third and three out to the right side. He's got Terrence Pitt Howard for the first down. Flag on the play, though. Let's see what it is. They're going to call illegal touching. So it looks like Pitt Howard may have stepped out of bounds, and that will be a three and out. So here is Rattler now backing onto the field. Throw to the sideline, and it is caught. Flag on the play. They have the camera on Rattler. And they're going to call roughing the passer on D. Brown Jr. an additional 15 yards. That's the second time this game. So first and 10 now at about the 26-yard line. Here is Stevenson getting the handoff. Finally, a good play. Dominique Parks with the stop in the backfield. Our defensive line has been getting pretty much contained in this one. So now second and 12. Here's Rattler in the pocket. Moves a little bit. Throws left side. And it's just over the top of Scott. And they pick up the first down. Tackled by Youngblood. But inside the 10 is Marvin Mims setting up a goal-to-go -go situation. Here is Rattler this time. Brett gets to him. And it's a touchdown. Theo Weiss is in this time. Spencer Rattler throws his second touchdown of the game. It's now 31-10. to 10. Four minutes to go here in the second, in the third quarter, I should say. Here's a quick throw, and it's Terrence Pitt Howard out of the backfield, gain of eight. Second and two, got to keep him on his handoff. Here is Terrence Howard up the middle, picking up a gain of three. Another first down. So I like what Terrence Pitt Howard brings to the offense. He's more of a power guy, but you can just see he's a chain mover too. He can catch the ball as well. There is Riv Johnson who picks up about a gain of five. Second and five call. Here's a throw to left side, and it's going to be caught. Dalton inside about the 50. Gain of seven. We're looking good on these short passes so far. Here's a screen pass out to Pitt Howard. He has it in another big-time run after the catch. Gain of 17 for him, and now we're across the 50 now for sure at about the 33, just out of field goal range. Here's a quick throw to left side. It's going to be Dalton who was wide open. 
I don't know if that was a busted coverage or what, but he was wide open. Looks like they were in cover two. It's a first down. So now this third quarter does wind down. Quick throw to left side, and it's almost caught. May have been tipped by the defender. Devon Cash can't hold on to it. So last play now of the third quarter. Here is Ray. He's just going to drop back and throw to left side. And they are going to call intentional grounding on that call. That was an interesting call on that one because it looked like we had a receiver on the left side. He may have just ran the wrong route, but the referees don't agree. Third and 27 now. We're backed way up. Here is Ray just trying to get some of that yardage back. And he fumbles, but it falls out of bounds. And now we have to settle for the field goal. We're not going to go for it here on a fourth and 12. Mendez comes into the game, and the kick is up. And it's short. Julian Mendez misses, and that is just going to be deflating here. 31-10. Now Rattler's backing onto the field. You know they're going to run it with Ramondre Stevenson. He picks up a gain of 10. He's run all over us this game. He remains in the game this time. It's a counter play to left side. And he does get tackled by Marlon Lambert, but another big first down run by him. He's closing in on 100 yards rushing so far. He's already got two scores. Here's another throw to the right side. Weiss goes up and gets it. Theo Weiss, gain of 18. And they're inside the 10 already. Five and a half to go here in this game. This could make it a four-score lead. Here is Rattler throwing to the end zone, and it's picked off. C.J. Terry, good play by the senior quarterback, and he got beat earlier on a similar route. This time, he's not fooled, 31 to 10, and possession. Down by three scores in the rain, five minutes left. We decide to bring in Jamaica Panolum off the bench, and his first pass is tipped. Looking for the running back out of the backfield. Here's Panolan, under center this time, third and 10, and he goes down. The pressure gets to him, and Ronnie Perkins is there for his second sack of the game. Three and a half to go, now it's garbage time. I'm surprised they're leaving Rattler into the game, in the game, here's a quick throw across the middle. Ramondre Stevenson picks up yet again, another first down for him in this game, gain of 12. So now they're starting to run this clock down inside of three minutes. Here's a handoff. Stevenson breaks the tackle, still on his feet, and he will take it all the way, and it's a touchdown. Scott couldn't get to him in time. He does fall in, and now it's 38-10. to 10. Oklahoma is in full control. Let's see what Jamaica Panolan does on this final drive here. Hands off to Pitt Howard. If we keep him in the game, we probably should take him out after that carry. I'm afraid for him to get hurt as well. He does remain in for some reason. 38 to 10, third and seven now. Quick throw, and that is going to be caught by Daryl Queen, who tries to fight forward for a gain of five, and that one will end this game. Don't want to risk further injury, so we did not go for it at all. We just kicked it away and gave Oklahoma the victory. It was well out of reach anyway. And Spencer Rattler had a few turnovers in this one, three interceptions. It still didn't matter. They still won by 28 points. Billy Ray, he was shaky, to be honest, in this game. 10 incompletions. Wasn't as consistent as the first game versus Appalachian State. But still, we're in raining conditions versus a very good game, or versus, versus a very good team, I should say. Pitt Howard, he ran the ball well. We didn't have too much of a running lane to go to in this game. I mean, honestly, Oklahoma's defense is pretty good compared to ours. Mick Lott had one drop in this game, but... I guess it's down from two, the uh, last game. And not too much to say about our receiving core. Didn't really have a huge game throwing through the air. Obviously, our defense was on the field quite a bit this game. Rattler did throw three interceptions. So it was a good game by our secondary. I got to say that was one good takeaway that we had in this game. Three interceptions. No sacks, though. We had zero pressure at all on Rattler throughout the evening. And that was kind of alarming. But I think our pressure the first game pretty much says that, hey, that was a good offensive line. We just went against, went up against with Oklahoma. We'll have better days. So next episode, Long Beach State. We did include them in this series. They will be the next opponent. And then after that, we will probably have the recruiting special. But Long Beach is 0-2 so far. Hopefully we can get a win. They've had two blowout losses. So 
maybe this could be a good little rivalry to cook up in this series. Charlotte versus Long Beach. We already have one with Appalachian State. Let me know what you guys think of the team after that Oklahoma loss. We're going to have our work cut out next game. Hopefully this will be better. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Wave. Yeah. I'm in it for keepsake. In the field with the cleat lace. Beat foot with the bare face and a slick tongue. That's what she say. She look good. She a big tease when she bite lip with the weak face. Hella bad when she throwing it back. She bring that my way for the team play. For Pete's sake. I'm above average. I'm padding my stack. I got a matter what he's.